<sighs> While we're talking about all things pumping related, I'm drinking my mother's milk tea. The ocean horizon and you my paradise, my lady. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my LV pump. Now I have my pumps in right now, so I can't actually show you it, but towards the end of the video, then I will show you guys how much milk I have pumped. Usually I typically pump for about anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes even an hour or over, just depending on what I'm doing or even if I notice that they're even still on. But this is what they look like. This is the box that it comes in. Um, and with the LV pump, I have the double pump. You can buy just one if you want to, which is great because let's just say you're a woman who's had a mastectomy and you only have one breast, um, available for pumping. Um, I think that's great because it includes every woman. With that being said, I will go over what comes in the box. So you get two flange sizes. You get the 28 millimeter, which is the square symbol and then you also get a 24 millimeter which is the triangle i personally had to buy my own flanges because um the ones that it comes with is were way too big so i use a 21 millimeter flange and that works well for me it also comes with breast pump seals which look like this i bought an extra box but they look like this and then it also comes with the bottles then it comes with also the little pour spout and then the little topper that goes on top of the pour spout. I'll show you guys everything that I mean after I take out my pumps to show you guys. Um, but And it also comes with bra extenders. I don't personally use them because I don't need to. I just wear my nursing bra and I just adjust the straps as needed. I'll show you guys. So this is me with my pumps in right now. Um, they've been going for about 45 minutes so far. Um, cause this is the second time I'm filming this video. I didn't like how the first one turned out, but anyways, it honestly, if you're a nursing mom, it will change your life to be able to do things other than being stuck to a wall with a traditional pump because I can get things done. I can do my laundry. I can cook. I can, um, do the dishes, things like that. Anything that I would typically normally do if I wasn't pumping, I could do with, these pumps on and also keep up with my pumping schedule because sometimes I have to carve out time out of my day to physically be like, okay, for 30 minutes, I can't do anything but sit here. Now I can do anything while I'm still pumping. The reason why I decided to get an LV pump is because I need to pump a lot of milk. Um, my daughter uh, is about four and a half months now and her father and I, we co-parent. So in order for me to make sure that she has enough milk when she goes to his house, I have to constantly be pumping all the time. Um, on days that she's not with me, obviously I can pump a lot more milk than when she's with me. Um, if she is with me, then I will have her nurse on one side for the day and then I will be pumping on the other just so I'm constantly stashing away milk. I also like that the LV pump is rechargeable. Um, it takes about roughly two hours for it to fully charge, but I never let it actually drain down to it being dead because I'm, like I said, I'm constantly pumping. So after I do a session, then I just plug them in. I would say I roughly pump around six to eight times a day and about 30 minutes to an hour sometimes. So honestly, I spend about three to eight hours per day pumping. And can you imagine being stuck to a wall for that amount of time per day? If, if I'm pumping like eight hours a day total, that's a third of my day just sitting down and waiting for my pumps to be done and my milk to be expressed. So the fact that I can pump for eight hours per day, get things done, then I mean, I'm all for that. Another plus to the LV pump is that it works from an app. So obviously you can turn them on and off with the pump, but in order to track how many ounces you've pumped, how much time you've pumped and all of that jazz, you can just use the app. I'll try to insert a picture or a little video of me using the app right here. And honestly, I feel like I get more milk pumping from the LV pump than with the traditional pump because 
With a traditional pump, I would probably pump for only about 30 minutes instead of going the full 45 or an hour or longer even sometimes, only because I don't wanna be sitting down stuck to a wall for 30 minutes or longer. So with that being said, I'm able to pump for a longer amount of time because I can do other things and get things done. I would say I've been using the LV pump consistently for about a little over two weeks. I've had it since my daughter's been born four months ago, but me and the LV pump in the beginning had a love-hate relationship. I love that I was hands-free and I could do um, activities and chores and, and things like that but it, I was having a hard time having it catch my nipple. But now I have learned, now that I have actually stuck with it, how to kind of troubleshoot the LV pump and get it to work for me every single time. I am only using the LV pump now. I'd never use my wall pump anymore. In fact, I think I stashed it away or I'm gonna donate it because I don't need it anymore. I'm a really active mom, so the LV pump is perfect for me. And I also, I feel like I have my life back. I'm not stuck to so I can constantly be pumping and constantly be going about my day. So some of the cons, I mean, this pump is amazing and I honestly recommend it to every mom out there. It is on the pricier side at $500 for both of them, but in about, I think 300 for just one, but I feel like it's completely worth it. There's a lot of mommy baby gadgets out there that you buy but absolutely do not need but i honestly i recommend these pumps especially if you're an active mom um or even if you're not you know it's just the best in my opinion but some of the cons um there are some cons even though this pump is amazing <laughs> there are some cons to it so one is sometimes the milk will spill out i'll give you an example so the first time that i had my milk spill out is because i bent over to plug in my phone charger and at the time, obviously, I didn't know that if you, you know, if your bottles are full and you bend over, it's going to spill out, which it will because it is kind of open in a way. I will show you later what it looks like. And then also, I pumped one time while I was pushing um, my daughter in her stroller. And because I was like doing a walking fast motion, the sloshing around of the milk, it spilled out and was all over my shirt. But it's okay because nobody, nobody was out. Nobody could see it, but... Um, so yeah, that's another thing to note is that if you are not doing activities where you're kind of standing still or sitting up straight, the milk can spill out, which is a bummer. So just keep that in mind when you are thinking about possibly buying the LV pump. And then also another con is that sometimes it doesn't catch the nimble. I now have learned that the reason why um, sometimes my LV pump would not catch my nipple and suction because the seals these ones right here um they were wet and so was the, the flange where um where the seal would stick onto it sometimes if it gets wet obviously like if you wash it or if there's condensation at all um if there's any moisture at all on the seals it will not suction on so make sure before you go to do a pumping session that's completely dry another con that i have found is that sometimes the app and the sensors in here are inaccurate, um, but I do like the fact that you can change the amount of ounces that are in there so it can get a more accurate reading. I think it, the reasons why it might be inaccurate is if you're not sitting completely straight or is if you like kind of move around and stuff so the sensor might catch a different reading than what you actually have in there. But the fact that you can change it, I really do like. And I would say, uh, mm, I think a full charge would last me around two sessions um, because I typically pump for about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour anywhere. So I can probably use them for two sessions. But like I said before, like I don't really let it go to where it's completely dead. I just, after every session, I just charge it. And I would say that I probably get more milk from my LV pump than my traditional pump because... One, I can go longer because I can do things so I'm not stuck to a wall. And I honestly feel like with the traditional pump, I would get anywhere from like one and a half to two, maybe three ounces at a time. But with the LV pump, I've noticed because I'm more comfortable leaving them on for a longer period of time, or even if it's 30 minutes, sometimes it just depends on what time of day I'm pumping. I can get anywhere from two ounces per breast to four ounces per breast. So 
with that being said i just i like these a lot better okay and now i'm gonna take out my pumps to show you guys how much i have pumped i think i've been pumping for around an hour or so now so i'm just gonna take them out and show you guys there is a light right here and this is the pause and play button i guess if you will hopefully i don't show you guys anything okay so this is the right one and i got about three ounces out of that one and then my left i got about three ounces on that side too so six ounces total I would say three ounces on my right and 3.25 to three and a half on my left, which is awesome because that's usually a full Lancino bag's worth. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys quickly what it looks like. So here is what it looks like from the backside. This is the flange, the seal, and then you use this button right here to um, separate the bottle from the hub like this and so you'll you'll see right here this is like the little cover and it has a pore spot actually and then this is the little the little i guess for a traditional pump it would be like the membrane i guess so it makes it more easy and convenient to pour these either into bottles or breast milk freezer bags so that's that one and then i'm going to take this one off to show you guys too yeah lots of milk a little over six ounces in here you guys it's awesome i love it but yeah that is my full review i do love my lv pump i wish i would have stuck with it and just kind of learned how to use it instead of giving up because i love it way more than my traditional pump i could have saved a lot of time and grief by just sticking with my lv pump and really learning how to use it i do recommend it like i said to every single mom out there new mom old mom whatever um, I do recommend it to all nursing moms out there because it is convenient and it's very hassle free. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please comment and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, I forgot to mention, so I don't wash my bottles after every time that I use them. I ba basically what I would do is I pump a session and then pour it out into freezer bags. And then I will stick the bottles into the fridge and I'll do that for a full day's worth of pumping. Um, I don't wash them every bottle because honestly, that's not realistic for me. I pump so many times a day that it just is it's inconvenient if I had to do that. So after a full day's worth of pumping, then I will wash them. Um, but yeah, I just want to add that tidbit in there. If anybody was wondering, <laughs> I just stick the bottles in the fridge and that's perfectly okay to do. Just FYI. Testing, testing.